Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel. This is Coraless, and this is your 30-second update. I'm about to head out for the day. I do have to take care of some orders, but I figured you guys may be interested in what's going on. So we did get one of the Red Sea Peninsula tanks together the other day, and we did get one together today. What's going on, Gabriel? It's so good to see you, man. Um, I have not had two seconds to think let alone answer any of my questions or get back to people. So I am so sorry for that. Um, Gabriel, I promised you pictures of corals like two months ago. <laughs> so, oh man, check out our sign that just came in. Um, yeah, somebody was supposed to do inventory for me in an update video, but it didn't happen. But, but anyway, more importantly, we got these two tanks up. These are massive, massive peninsula tanks, rimless, they're gonna be pretty crazy so whatever you guys can imagine um, we're gonna try to fit it in here so we'll have every antheus tons of wrasses lots of cool starfish <laughs> this thing is gonna be insane yeah gabriel i'll take care of it you know it just takes it takes me some time especially with all this on my head but so we got these two battling tanks this is going to be the freshwater, planted, CO2-driven um, aquarium. This will probably have castles over it. So I'll be showing off the different types of lighting based on the type of corals and type of tanks. So don't even look at any of this stuff here. It's been, I have not been taking care of my, um, my duties with the tanks. But we did get water for people to drink. That's important. <laughs> so this is the submarine table which will come together in a few, a few more days. So we did finish this table, we're happy to say. Let me see, Gabriel, what you were saying. I gotta reread that. Um, you're doing some big stuff now. You know what, I, I appreciate that, Gabriel. I, I'm really glad. But some people don't understand, they don't follow what I do. But, but here you go. So what I did today was airbrush some stuff onto the tank, or on the stand on the table, whatever this is, <laughs> just to kind of like give it a complete look. So we are going to do our final, final coating on this. It is pushed up against the wall, has the backsplash in place. Um, just one piece of foam I forgot to remove. We did this because I didn't want anyone denting anything. I'm like, please don't damage anything. Oh, I damaged it. Okay. <laughs> Trying to do that one-handed. Nope, they pushed the table a little much. Nope, I can't do that. <laughs> we, we've used the styrofoam, we put it against the wall so I wouldn't break anything. I think the styrofoam is gonna have to stay there for a while. Um, but all good, all good. So there's another mermaid. We put little bubbles in her mouth, spitting out. I was thinking about painting her and putting some clothes on her and stuff, but I don't. I may just leave it just white. But, but I did put another another mermaids over here. The Coralus sticker in the middle. Yeah, I need to go back to the gym. It's been months since I've been there, Gabriel, or at least since I started working in here. I haven't had time. But this is the sink. So this is our pride and joy. This is the fragging table. I just put an anchor in there. I even wrote CRS on it, best I could. That's the sand. Seaweed, there's some fish. This is our nautical little sign in there. It looks like a hologram, it's ridiculous. The reflection of the pearl, when you see it, it's like floating on top of the blue. It's mind blowing. So I decided I just wanted to learn airbrushing. So I, I just, I bought a cheap set, only problem is buying a cheap set, it's a cheap set. So here's all my mess over here. This is me going crazy with the colors. Um, paints are expensive, so I started making my own paints out of other acrylic paints. So that's why you have this cluster of just craziness on this side of the table. You can see I'm eating and working, and <laughs> I got some drill bits over here. But these are the acrylic, um, or the epoxy, I'm sorry. The epoxy leftovers that harden in the cup for the sun. So there's our colors. But yep, so that's your update, guys. Thank you, Gabriel. I can't wait to um, show you when we get this RODI system up and, and running. But 
Table came out great. We're pleased. Couldn't be happier with it. Just got to put the nozzles on and the drain. But other than that, it's going to be gorgeous. But in the back, has some other things going on back there. What's going on, Dan's Reef? So this is like day 55 of the Coralus fit out. <laughs> I feel like I'm on Mars. I'm not getting a break. But anyone has any ideas, feel free to leave some comments below on what we should put in these tanks. This is going to be a fresh water system and this is going to be the salt water system. So how do you open these doors? Oh, there you go. And there's a lot of room in here. You get lost under this Red Sea reefer. This is the Peninsula 650. I should be done next week, honestly, or actually Friday. I give myself two more days. <laughs> I gotta have the whole store ready. But we won't have everything done, but at least we'll have, you know, stuff where people can come in and buy food and buy salt. We'll get the shelves up and supplies. And we can custom order anything for anybody. If there's something you need and there's a product we don't have, all you have to do is just say so and we'll make sure to get it for you. But there's that. All right. I should probably turn off this flashing opening sign so people don't keep coming to the door. But I right, turn it off. Hmm. Check out this neon. Very, very cool. It's, we're trying to put stuff that makes it look a little festive in here. Oh, there's a button. Is there? No, pull string. There we go. What'd you say, Gabriel? Do a natural black water tank for fresh community for salt. Yeah, that's definitely gonna have to be a mixed mixed reef. Um, this one over here. Let me turn these guys back on. I love these things. Oh no, we gotta unplug them. That's right. I need more outlets in here because I keep unplugging stuff to plug stuff in to test stuff in. So. The internet cafe is coming together. We do have coffee for you guys, creamers, all that good stuff. Complimentary when you come in shopping. We'll have some different things too. But that's my quick update. I am out of here. I do have a ton of stuff to do back at home. So I'll show off this system tomorrow when we um, get this all situated and get the doors back on this side. Boy, turn my lights out on here. Oh. I forgot this thing here. I still have to reprogram this mister. It has not been working for me, so I keep plugging in and letting this thing run on its own. You know, just for keeping the plants moist. I'll have to order a new one of those as soon as I get a chance. Sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy. I'm trying to hold the phone and plug in these cables at the same time. There we go. There's one. Oops. If I don't rotate. Oops. My phone doesn't like when I drop it. Uh, so, anyway. So there's the Miss King. That's back up. Put a little food in here for these guys. The Axolata has been very friendly lately. Always coming out to say hello. He knows we got food for him. So. Yeah, this tank is a jungle. I left the mister on. Long. <laughs> Look how much water. I need to put a fan on top too to help clear the glass. Just a little bit of air movement will get rid of that fog. And I usually have a feeding dish for this guy, but everything's been moved around. So, if they swallow some sand, I am sorry. He's like, you didn't put it in my dish, I'm not eating it. Come on, little buddy. 
He's uh, he's a little camera shy. He doesn't want his food at the moment. He always looks like he's got like a funny grin on him. Funny thing is, every time I feed him, I put his food up front in the tray. So even if I put food in, in the back, he'll still go up front to the tray looking for it. So that's pretty cool. He's an interesting little guy. I love the axolotls. So I will be back here tonight. I don't know why I'm dimming down all these lights right now. But I have to come back and I have to put the final coat in the and put the sink. Finalize that tomorrow. I'm trying to reach up here. <laughs> I still have these old lights on here, which is driving me crazy. I don't have a Wi-Fi timer or something. I have the old Chinese black box on this thing. <laughs> and they work. They work really good. So people who wonder if you can grow coral with the Chinese black boxes, those things will definitely, definitely work. Um, and just a lot of other coral uh, lighting has unique features. So, okay. So I am signing off. I will give you guys, whoever wasn't in the beginning watching the video, one more look at the table. Um, starting from here, we got ourselves a little crab on the table. And then we have shell and our mermaids. We got several mermaids. Definitely go with the mermaid theme. There's another deep water mermaid. And this girl swimming with her fishy friend. So, <laughs> so there you go. <coughs> and this is the sink. This is the gorgeous color changing sink. So you guys can see the river, how it turns, turns red, orange, gold, yellow, green, depending on how you are. I hold the camera. So, I try to move it and then it tells me to rotate. So anyway, so there's the awesome, awesome sink. Could not be more happier with the way this thing turned out. Oh, uh, ATF, um, yeah, definitely hate to see this thing get damaged. So we're gonna coat this. We're gonna coat this thing with clear and it should be bulletproof. Thank you very much. Uh, this was my first time ever doing this, so. We took a stainless steel sink. We built it in here. It's a four foot long sink. We're gonna have two spigots out the top. So this is for cleaning skimmers, big, big skimmers. So if somebody has to um, hose something down, we, we have it and it's sealed. So the water can just pour right in here, which is awesome. And we have wooden slats that go here. So if you wanna use this as a table, you can put the wooden slats over top and actually protect it, which is pretty cool. So I'm excited. I'm really excited. This thing is, um, you know, I kind of feel like I went the extra mile and then some. We were just going to do a little bit, and then it just turned into a little bit more, and then one more, and then we were like, all right, man, we're getting out of here. And then I was like, no, 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 no. just one more. So <laughs> I literally started with just a couple pieces of grass, and I was like, oh, we got to do the whole thing. Forget it. So very cool. But thank you guys for watching. As always, happy reefing. Stay tuned for the next update when we turn this thing into a submarine and we start getting some water in these front tanks. So I will set up the RDI system this week and start filling this up. Tank is pretty much level. So it's later, Gabriel. Uh, I'll catch up with you soon. Next time, too, we have some of the window. We're going to do decals on the front here. So if anyone has any ideas, we're looking for good picture of the Great Barrier Reef with rocks kind of coming down the front windows and then, you know, corals or sponges or something. So really trying to get that together so the guys can start working on it for the next week. But see you guys later.